Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to part two of our special our opera special opera duets. And uh, as promised, we have now moved on to from Verdi in part one to uh, Puccini. And we're going to listen to duets firstly from or duet firstly from uh, uh, La Boheme, the Bohemians. Uh, from 1896, I believe the performance was. Uh, and then we're going to shoot forward uh, four years to 1900, uh, Puccini's 1900 opera, uh, the very, very, very famous and popular Tosca. So we're going to firstly listen to Osuera Fanciulla, which basically concludes uh, act one of La Boheme. So to give you a bit of a background, uh, you've got um, a group of uh, impoverished artists living in Paris uh, in a sort of a altogether in a, a loft space. Uh, it's often sort of in the productions. Uh, you've got Rodolfo, uh, who is uh, a poet, a poet um, and he lives with, I think it's uh, Chamard and others, painter, composer, his friends, and they all live together in this loft space. Uh, this is a uh, winter, winter time, setting winter time in Paris. <coughs> As I say, 1896, I think it set uh, the time that it was written, um, if memory serves. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong there. <laughs> and basically what's happened is uh, uh, Rodolfo's friends have uh, gone out to, um, you know, have a good time if they can on what little money they have, which is, which is virtually nothing. Um, they've gone to their sort of uh, 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 local hostelry, I think is the plan. Uh, you know, to drink and be merry, uh, possibly to find a few <laughs> lady friends. <laughs> they uh, their regular haunt, basically. And uh, Rodolfo has uh, stayed behind because he wants to finish um, uh, a bit of work he's working on, a, po a poem. Uh, so he stays behind, and after they've gone, uh, he hears a commotion out on the on the sort of shared sort of common stairway outside, which leads to other other people's uh, uh, apartments. Uh, and uh, basically, he opens the door and he finds Mimi, who is one of the neighbours, and Mimi's. Excuse me, Mimi's candle has gone out on the stairs. She can't see where she's going. She's fallen over. She's dropped her candle and her door key, basically. Anyway, he invites her in. Uh, he immediately falls for her. She falls for him. You know, love at first sight, all this sort of stuff. Um, they've already sung. Uh, my memory's terrible. <laughs> Uh, they've already sung uh, the great, uh, well, Rodolfo's, sorry, uh, Rodolfo sung the great aria, which has slipped my memory at the minute. <laughs> I'm trying to remember Italian and I can't, I can't remember it. As soon as I finish this video, it'll come straight back into my head. Um, basically, anyway, and they sort of explain to each other who they are, uh, what they do for a living, what their sort of dreams are and all hopes and all this sort of stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, sings, you know, your tiny hand is frozen, whatever that is in Italian, to me, me, when they're scrabbling around on the floor trying to find her, her door key. Um, he lights her candle, all this sort of stuff. So uh, that's happened. And now from below in the street, uh, Rodolfo's friends have, have called up and said, where are you, basically? Um, come and join us, uh, you know. And he's basically, obviously they don't know that 
Mimi stay always met Mimi because they, they haven't met her. Um, so he says, you know, they want me to go along. This is, this is what they're singing in the duet house. He's going to go. He wants her to go with her. She obviously with, you know, the sort of, uh, <laughs> the sort of, uh, as it, as at the time, um, she's sort of keeping her, her thoughts to herself and her feelings to herself somewhat. Uh, she wants to go. She's explaining in the duet that she'd uh, like nothing more to go, but she didn't want to be quite so forward and say so, basically. So now they're singing that, and then towards the end of the duet, they, they're leaving together to go out and uh, join their friend, join Rodolfo's friends. So that's a terrible, long-winded way of explaining what's going on. <laughs> if you don't know. So this is uh, Jonas Kaufman and Christine Opalas uh, singing O Sueva Fanchula, and I hope you enjoy it. Three, two, one.
there we are absolute classic <laughs> absolute classic if you love opera you're gonna know that you're gonna know that's what i find you uh okay Jalida manina of course <laughs> i knew it could do some point preceded that basically uh, which was uh, a rodolfo's aria um possibly uh, along with uh, Recondita Armenia from uh, Tosca, which we're about to move on to, possibly, I don't know what, the two most famous uh, tenor arias in all of Italian opera. Mm. Uh, probably most beloved. Uh, right, so anyway, there we are. That was lovely, that's wonderful. That was Lava Wen, as I say, 1896. And we're now going to shoot forward four years to the ever popular, my own personal favourite. Uh, I can listen to it ad nauseum. Uh, uh, it's one of the few I've seen, gone to see in person, um, because I absolutely hate <laughs> actually <laughs> going to operas <laughs> uh, in person. Um, often because the seating is just really uncomfortable. Uh, often because you don't know who you're sitting next to and most times I'm sat for someone who's either completely disinterested but is there for reasons known only to themselves uh, and are just disruptive and break my concentration and enjoyment or you get to... Uh, anyway, let's, <laughs> let's, move on. let's move on from that. But it, yeah, it's one of the... Uh, Tosca is uh, one of the ones I've always uh, got time to listen to and and watch so a little, little cut here a little edited cut and we'll move on so we'll see you in a sec and we are back we are back with our final uh, duet famous opera duet uh, of this special two-part um, Italian opera uh, duets from four operas altogether um, we started off with uh, in part one with Verdi and Rigoletto. We moved on to La Traviata, and then we've uh, gone forward in time, almost fifty years, uh, to 1896, um, to Puccini, uh, which we just listened to, Osso uh, Fanciulla uh, from La Boheme, and now here we are, the final opera, the final duet of this two-parter uh, from Tosca. Uh, again, forgive my Italian, my Italian speaking friends. A quell'occhio, quell'occhio al mondo. Basically, uh, this is uh, Act One of Tosca. Mario Cavaradossi, the painter, uh, is painting uh, a painting of the Madonna for uh, uh, the church that he's, that he's in at the minute. Um, uh, his beloved, his beloved <laughs> Tosca, who is an actual, is supposed to be an actual um, uh, opera singer, a diva. This is set in 1800 in uh, Spain, I think, from memory. Uh, sorry, no, Rome. What am I talking about? In Rome. <laughs> totally different country. <laughs> in Rome. Uh, and basically, uh, so we've already had uh, Tavaradossi singing uh, Recondita Armonia, where he's, he's looking at his painting. He's singing about how the Madonna's uh, hair and eyes are different colours to his beloved uh, Toscas, which of course are uh, black hair and uh, uh, different coloured eyes and everything. Tosca comes in, basically some things happen. Tosca then comes in to see with her, I think he's got, she's got a, a bit of food and drink for him, lovely, in a basket. She sees the painting. Uh, she's a very jealous, <laughs> she's a very jealous <laughs> diva basically uh, and she convinces herself she's convinced that he's painting or he's based the painting on some woman he knows 
uh, and that he's being unfaithful, you know, you know, all this sort of stuff. So she starts talking about, you know, uh, uh, her hair should be like mine, you know, should be dark, should be black, and and all this sort of stuff. So we've had all of the Reconita Armenia. So she's now singing this, well, in the duet with Cavaradossi. And Cavaradossi is basically reassuring her and saying, or trying to reassure her, and saying, well, you know, forget this painting. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't anyone uh, in reality. You know, you're my, you know, you're my boo, as you would say these days. <laughs> you know, uh, I love your black hair, I love, no one could, uh, you know, uh, no eyes can compare with your eyes, all this sort of stuff, you know, which of course she laps up and loves, uh, she's Tosca, <laughs> Florio Tosca, the diva, um, so that's what's happening basically in this uh, duet, as you will see, uh, I'm trying to see who we've got singing here, uh, if I can just turn it down a minute so we can, I can have a look at the details before start actually singing do, 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 do. ah uh, uh and the trebko uh and uh melly mr melly the tenor uh from not too long ago 2019 so uh uh i think it's actually at the scala it says so anyway hopefully this will get through <laughs> if not it'll be a different singers but singing the same uh, the same duet so Let's uh, restart that. The old tech, eh? Trying to get the tech, <laughs> trying to get the tech to work properly. Right, so here we go. Al quale occhio, qual occhio, al mondo, Meli and the Trebko at uh, Scala. Three, two, one. So that would help, wouldn't it? Really. Three, two, one.
There'd be some clapping there <laughs> and a bright end. So uh, here we are. We are finished. Uh, that's our four, our four greats. Personally, my favourite that I could listen to again and again and again uh, is uh, the one we've just heard from Tosca. Um, of course, what happens, uh, I don't know if you know, but what happens after this, after Act 1, is uh, Scarpia, the Chief of Police, and everything who's who's uh, uh, trying to capture um, a, a man that's on the run, for what saying now, who uh, Cavaradossi has already previously uh, helped hide in the church. Um, Scarpia, basically, in Act 2, uh, brings Tosca, who he's got, uh, <laughs> who he's got the hots for, um, to his uh, uh, offices. This is where he lives, you know, his palace, I suppose. Um, and basically blackmails her. Um, he knows Cavaradossi uh, has had something to do with hiding uh, the man he's after. Uh, they've been looking for. Who's escaped? Um, so he basically off stage has Cavaradossi tortured, while Tosca's uh, sort of uh, in the room with him to put pressure on her uh, to uh, basically sleep with him. Um, which is when she sings, uh, uh, well, she kills. <laughs> she basically <laughs> kills um, Scarpia and then sings the famous uh, aria Visidati. Um, and then we go on to the third act and uh, Elice van der Stelle, and, uh, which of course Caradossi sings uh, before he is uh, executed. So, four great operas, four favourites. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, 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 you may have seen me mouth some of the, some of the lines because um, this is how sad I am. I don't just listen to it. I actually have the librettos and things here, the actual full scores with the libretto thing, and I spend my spare time following along and actually reading. <laughs> and I'm also at the moment trying to teach myself uh, to read, uh, uh, or I can read music anyway, but to sing, um, basically, and follow. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's how exciting my life is. At the minute, but it's lockdown, isn't it? I mean, 18 months of lockdown or more now. And obviously winter is coming soon and all of the fun stuff, all of the the flus and resurgence of COVID here in the UK is certainly already um, starting by the looks of it. 
So wherever you are, whether you're in the US, whether you're in uh, Italy, Spain, France, the Netherlands, whether you're further afield in Japan, China, Malaysia, India, uh, even Australasia. <laughs> Do you guys watch and listen to opera down in Austria? That's not Austria. I'm talking about Australia. Uh, of course you probably do. That's a <laughs> that's that's a bit of a, a jibe from <laughs> us poms. A, a pom to my uh, friends in Australia <laughs> and New Zealand. Um, oh, I love dearly, but uh, but uh, obviously the the joke is <laughs> has been for many years that Australia doesn't have <laughs> much of a. Uh, a culture bone, which of course is, is nonsense because you've got the Sydney Opera House and you've got people like Danger and Sutherland and Kiri Tagano and things like that. So, um, anyway, enough of my sense of humour. <laughs> Hit and miss. Um, it's goodbye from me. I will see you next time. And uh, you take care of yourselves and look after yourselves, won't you? Have fun. Bye for now.